this will help you grow your hair it's cost effective because it's cheap you already have it and it's natural i will be sharing three recipes easy recipes that you can apply to your hair to use so you can grow your afro your natural hair your curly hair whatever kind of hair that you have guys welcome back to my channel is Jolie Kenki naturally helping you grow your hair the natural way if you're interested in how to use an ingredient an amazing spice that we love using in every single thing that we're doing in our kitchen you probably even have it in your cabinet right now just keep on watching we love cinnamon. We put this spice in almost everything we are doing, in our breakfast recipes, but also in any sweet recipes that requires flavor. From our coffees, our teas, or breakfast cereals, we cannot get enough of using this aromatic and valuable spice that used to be rare and used to be a gift for kings. This is a winter and fall spice, but we don't sometimes realize that cinnamon is good one of those spices very beneficial also for hair and our skin this amazing spice has a lot of vitamins and nutrients that are good for your hair like calcium iron magnesium potassium vitamin a and beta carotene a lot of them today we will focus on three easy ways to use cinnamon to grow hair healthy and fast because not only your hair needs vitamin, proteins, nutrient, and protection to grow, but it also needs something that can improve the blood circulation of your scalp consistently and efficiently. The first method is an onion and cinnamon juice recipe. You take one onion and you cut it in multiple pieces, and then you add it to one cup of hot water. Then you add one teaspoon of cinnamon. You let it simmer then for 10 minutes. Once it's ready after 10 minutes, you let it sit, you let it cool, then you remove all the chunks, you pour it into a spray bottle, and you have to just put it on your scalp, you cover your hair for like 30 minutes, and you shampoo and conditioner as usual. Because of its antioxidant properties, it can help you protect your hair from radical damages. And because of the anti-inflammatory properties, it can help reduce inflammation problem of the scalp that you may have. It also has antifungal and antibacterial properties. Kill bacteria or any kind of problem you may have on your scalp like dandruff. Also, cinnamon powder has the property to speed up your circulation on your scalp. If you have poor circulation, it's gonna help speed up the blood circulation of your scalp as well. The second method is a cinnamon oil, or shall we call it a cinnamon serum. In a double boiler, just like you would do for a coffee oil, if you haven't seen that video, it's gonna be in the description down below. You can use the same method if you wanna use it right away. I like to use the, the easy and slow way so I just pour my sunflower and avocado oil in a mason jar and I put two teaspoons of cinnamon powder and I leave it for like 30 days in a dark place until it's ready to be used I can put that on my scalp I use it in with a dropper or any a little bottle that you have you can put it in your hair every two days or every day or you can use it as an oil treatment but it's, it's just gonna depend on your, on your skin sensitivity of cinnamon oils that's why it's always good to test it on your skin before you apply it to your scalp a third method is a cinnamon scrub you can use your favorite conditioner you can put three tablespoons of your favorite conditioner then you add two tablespoons of brown sugar it's gonna be exfoliating as well then you can add one tablespoon of cinnamon powder and if you want you can also add two tablespoons of honey 
you apply it to your scalp while it's wet after you shampoo your hair and you scrub it in circular motion for a couple of minutes and focus on the areas that are itchy it's gonna help stimulate your blood circulation as well so it's a good recipe for poor circulation on your scalp if your scalp is itchy if there's danger it's gonna help you with it so just make sure either co-washing or shampooing your hair you cover it after you do that and you let it sit for a while until you can rinse it completely thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video see you soon for another one bye bye